For this video, we are going to talk about how to use library databases. When you have a research project in science or in any other subject, you should really consider using a library database. A lot of people like to use Google, and Google is fine for ordinary things outside of school. But in school, you'll really want to use a library database, and you're going to find out why. So. To get there, go to library.ccsd.net, and when you get there, you'll go to the right-hand side of the screen, and you'll scroll down until you get to the Knudsen Middle School link. Click on that link. Then you'll get to the library homepage for our school. There are a lot of databases here that you can use. We're going to focus on the online databases EBSCO and WorldBook. Those are the two ones that are going to be most useful to you. There are a few others in the science section. National Geographic is okay, NASA is okay. But your two best sources really are going to be EBSCO and WorldBook. And we're going to start by going to EBSCO. So you'll just click that link there. When you do, you'll get to the EBSCO homepage. For science projects, you'll go to the left-hand side, about the middle of the screen, and click on the Science Reference Center. Once you click on the link, you're going to get to the home page, and there'll be a search box, which you can use just like you would use any other search box. So let's say you're doing a research project on the volcano Krakatoa. Okay, You'd go to the search box, and you would type in Krakatoa. And then you'll click Enter, and you'll get a bunch of articles on Krakatoa. Notice that you're not going to get three million search hits like you would for Google. You're just going to get a few, which is good. These are going to be the most relevant ones for you. And you're going to think, okay, well, how should I use these links? Which articles should I go to? There's a lot of great things about EBSCO. One of them is it tells you what the Lexile reading level for each article is. So maybe you're going to look at that article and think, geez, that's a 1,200 Lexile level. That's a little bit higher than maybe I'm at right now in middle school. So I'm going to scroll down and find maybe an article that's a little closer to my reading level. Here's one. That's 970. Maybe that's a little bit higher than I'm used to, but I think I'm going to try it. So I'm going to scroll down and see, are there any others on this first set of results? No. So maybe I'll go to Krakatoa, the book, and see what's there. And I'm going to open that up, and looking at it, boy, there's not really a whole lot in this source. I don't, I'm not sure that I want to use this source. So I'm going to go back to my result list, and I'm going to think, ah, you know, is there any other way? Maybe can I filter my results? Uh, probably relevance, probably my best. Uh, page options, hmm. What can I do? Well, if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see there are two more pages of results. So I'm going to go to the next page. Now, let's see. Oh, good. Here's an article with a Lexile level that's in the 800s. That's even better. And it's PDF full text, which means it might even have pictures for me. So I'll open that up. Google is not going to tell you what the Lexile level is of the websites, but EBSCO will, which is a great tool for you to be able to filter out sources and articles that are going to be closer to your reading level. And look, here we go, Krakatoa, here it is. Lots of information, ooh, it made a tsunami, here's some other information. Look at all, oh wow, 36,000 people died. So this looks like a pretty good source close to my reading level, so I'm going to use it, and I'm going to take notes on it and make sure that I get information that I need. And ooh, look at this, vocabulary at the bottom of the page that will help me pronounce, ooh, tsunami. Okay, I know how to say that. So this is a great article. I'm going to take notes on it, and I'm going to use what I need from it. Now, 
Here's another thing that EBSCO does that Google doesn't. On the right hand side you can see different icons. Go to the one that says cite. If you click on that icon it will bring up a citation for your source. A lot of your teachers are going to want you to include citations. Some might ask for MLA, a lot of them might ask for APA. In science we tend to use APA. All you have to do to make a citation is copy and paste. That's not something you can do in Google, but it is something you can do in EBSCO. So, you've already got your APA citation, and it was so easy. You just had to click Cite, and boom, there it is. Copy and paste your citation, put it in the references section at the end of your project, and ooh, you just made your project look a lot more professional. You've made yourself look a lot smarter. Okay? So, let's say that we want to find another source. You might consider going to the World Book. The World Book is a great general reference source. So you'll click on the link to World Book and it'll open up the database homepage. I prefer to go to the advanced section of World Book. So I'll go to the icon that says advanced and click on it. And here you've got another search bar. So I'm still working on Krakatoa, so I'm going to type in Krakatoa for the search bar. And click enter. Ooh, that's a cool picture. And ooh, there's an article on Krakatoa. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Let's take a look. So I'm going to click on it. Here's my article. It is also called Krakatoa, so yes, this is an article about what I want. And ooh, it even will play some of those words so that I know how to pronounce them. So I'm going to take some notes on this article too, get the information I need from it. Looks good. More information here that wasn't in the other article. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will tell me how to cite this article. There is an APA citation format. Again, all I've got to do is copy and paste the APA citation. So easy. You're not going to get that in Google, but you will if you use the World Book and if you use EBSCO. So, library databases. They're useful. They're better in a lot of ways than Google. They're easy to use and they include your citations. Again, some students are intimidated by the requirement that you use citations in academic projects in middle school and high school and college. Don't be intimidated. The library da databases make it easy for you. So, again, if you wanted to use other databases, you could, but I would really focus on EBSCO I would really focus on the World Book. They're going to help you get a better grade on your project. You'll learn more and you'll be better prepared for high school and better prepared for college.